in my last couple of videos, I told you basically the, the beginning of how to make money with woodworking, um, how you can take your hobby and actually make a profit with that. So in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you my top five side hustle woodworking projects that I did um, that actually made me the most profit. One of them actually I could build for less than $20 and I could sell for almost $400. And let's move on to my last one and this is the biggest money maker yet. And so let's get started. Okay, so this first side hustle slash woodworking project um, that I'm gonna show you, I actually did this last summer. Started just making a couple for friends, things like that. Everybody loved them, took off. And actually my kids started making these and selling them at a local home and garden places. So this, it is a simple fan trellis. This trellis is actually made of essentially a two by four and a half. So you're just taking a two by four, splitting it into half inch strips, and then putting it all together to make this uh, trellis. I have a video on this. I actually have a video on everything that I'm about to, uh, to tell you about. So I'll try to remember to put the little tabs up here, like this one, to be able to click into those videos and I'll teach you how to make them. But this trellis, essentially cost me $8, maybe $10 counting the couple bolts that you put in there. Sold those from anywhere from $50 to $75 a piece. Did not have to stain them, did not have to paint them, left that up to the customer. That's what you want. Perfect for gardens, perfect for anyone that likes flowers. It's just a great, cheap side hustle. Very high profit margin. Okay, so now this one actually could be huge to someone. I got tired of making it. Um, that's my problem is I start making these things. It does really well. I get a lot of orders in and then I kind of get bored with it because this is not my job. You know, the side hustles, they're not my job. They're just to kind of supplement my income for trips and buying new tools, things like that. So once I get bored with a project, kind of go on into something that I'm more interested in. But this one went crazy. I actually posted a video of it um, on other platforms whenever I was done, just like a quick 10, 15 second video. Millions, I mean, it went viral. Millions and millions of people watched the video. I guarantee I could have sold 100,000 of these things, um, you know, if I was willing to make them and ship them, but I sold them locally. This, the floating concealment shelf. So basically it's a decorative piece that you can hide a gun in. Um, the great thing about this project is you can mass produce it. So whenever you're buying your material, you can mass produce everything, buy in bulk for this project if you decide to do it. Again, I do have a video for this, but this was one of the first videos that I ever recorded. And it's just because I had so much interest in this. Uh, so it's just a really crappy walkthrough of how I you know, made this shelf. By the time that I finished, I could make this shelf for $35 in material. That's including all the hardware, the uh, gas dampers, struts, things like that. The foam by buying in bulk. And I could turn these around if I wanted to sell them like this, $200 a piece on Marketplace, no big deal, sell them like hotcakes. If I wanted to um, maybe not sell as many, 250 bucks, I sold a lot at 250. And then I got tired of making so many of them, so I stopped um, and decided to record the video on teaching people how to make them. But no matter where you live, people will love these things. I still get comments daily. I mean, I get DMs all the time. Hey, do you still sell these shelves? Do you do this? No, I don't, but you can, and you can make that money. Again, $35 in material, took me an hour and five minutes to make one of these things, cash in the bank. Okay, so the third thing that I'm gonna show you uh, that I actually made quite a bit of money on was another concealment shelf, except this was a concealment coat rack right here. Again, another video for that, I'll post a link. But 
This hit home because everybody needs something in their hallway. They need something that, uh, you know, is functional. Um, hang coats on, hang, uh, you know, your hats, things like that. And no one would ever know that if you just fold down the front that there could be a shotgun or whatever type of uh, home defense weapon that you like. When I made this, designed this, posted it just on Facebook on my personal page, blew up. Um, I need one, I need two, I need this, I need that. Uh, so I made several of these, sold these, sold them for $350 a piece. And I'm thinking that I may have had $35 a unit in this, minus my time. So again, check out the video on this concealment coat rack, big money maker. And no matter where you live, if you don't want to mess with Etsy, just like on any of these that I show you, they sell like hotcakes on Marketplace. I do not like selling on Etsy because I do not like shipping. Check out my other videos. I'm going to talk about all of that stuff. You have plenty of people around you and just in your local area that will buy this stuff up. All right. So again, forgive that last video if you was to have clicked into and watched it. It was at the beginning of getting all of this YouTube going and actually teaching people how to make these items. So very poorly made video. As you can see, my quality has gotten a little bit better. Sound, picture, things like that. It's only going to get better. But this next one is actually one of the highest profit margin type of items because not everyone can make this. And it is this. An obelisk. Did I say that right? Hang on, let me look. Ob obelisk. Obelisk. I oh, don't know. I'm a hillbilly. Whatever. It's the pyramid thing that goes in the gardens that flowers grow up. Women love them. Anyone that likes gardening loves these things and they are expensive. Check that out. That is what people are charging for these things. Okay. And literally you can make these things with like three two by fours. It costs around $25 to make this thing. Uh, that's no paint. For the most part, I sell things uh, where people can paint them themselves, stain them, do whatever that they would like. The most expensive part on this is the top cap. And uh, if you have time, you can make that yourself and save that extra 10 bucks. But um, $25 to make this, selling them for 250 to 350 all day long, just on Marketplace. And as you can see, you know what other people online are selling these for you can make a lot of money and you can make these quick. The only downside to these, again, not everyone can make these because it requires a compound miter that also allows you to bevel. So there's a lot of seven degree bevel, seven degree miter, things like that. Once you get it figured out, piece of pie, you can pump these things out all day long. And the thing about this and the garden trellis that I showed you earlier is you can make jigs. For this and I actually go over that in the videos um, but make a jig and I will actually put everything in its place and then that's all you have to do to pre-drill put it together assemble pump these things out sell them like crazy because for every person that buys this especially locally there's gonna be ten people that are gonna see it and they're gonna want it and they're gonna say hey where'd you get it they'll drop your name you've got another ten sales so check out the video for that I'm gonna try to pop it right up here and let's move on to my last one. And this is the biggest money maker yet. And the potential for it can be to the moon. Okay. So now we have the floating shelf. Okay. And when I say floating shelf, that's just the video that I made on how, teaching you how to actually make this floating shelf. Okay. Take that same concept, leave the ends off and you can actually have these faux beams that go across people's houses. They're made the exact same way, but where you come in is the technique. And I teach you how to distress this material to make it look, you know, like this. Um, that is what people cannot do. That's what they have a hard time doing. And I teach you how to do that. To build this shelf, it took me two one by six by eight boards. Right now, those boards are $9 a piece. So for $18, I built that. Right now, those same type of shelves that don't look as good as mine are selling for this much. Okay, so now that's the floating shelf. Now look and see how much the faux beams are selling for. And that is for a four foot section. 
They're using them for fireplace mantles, they're using them for those beams, things like that. So for $18 worth of material and the distressing technique, you can put this together and sell it for $350. Crazy amount of money. And that's just for the four foot. The six by six by eight foot are selling for over $800. Crazy amount of money for, for this. They are paying that much because not everyone is doing it and not everyone can do it. So check out this video. I'll teach you how to make this. I'll teach you how to distress it, all the techniques, and you'll sell these things like hotcakes. So if you've enjoyed this video, I know it's short and sweet. I didn't want to make it too long, but if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more because I'm going to be dropping all kinds of tips and tricks to you guys about uh, the woodworking side hustle, how to make money with woodworking. Uh, there's a lot of potential out there. There's a lot of gratification that comes from it, but you also need to make a little bit of money on the side to do this. So till next time, go out there, make some money. See ya.